under the skin. That's not working. I feel very, very uncomfortable with the energy right now. Push, push, push. <laughs> So today's vlog is gonna be um just like a fashion show pretty much because I don't know about you but I've never seen a YouTuber with better fashion sense than me right here. <laughs> I looked down for the first time earlier today and I was like, this is embarrassing. You are 24, get your life together. I feel like there's two groups of people. I feel like people who have using the whole stay at home quarantine issue to become so freaking healthy. They're getting fit, they're getting big butts, they're getting small waist hourglass figures, only eating vegetables. And then you have people like me who I've just been like watching Netflix and eating Cheetos and I feel like today is the day where I'm like, okay, I need to act like I am back in my normal place. Normally when I'm not filming mukbang, I try extra hard to eat healthier, which I haven't been doing since quarantine started. I haven't been trying as hard. So today we are going back on the try hard scale. We're gonna make a whole chicken bone broth, which is kind of inspired by a Korean samgyetang is what we call it. What do you guys call it in Chinese? Like ji tong, just chicken soup. We haven't been eating particularly healthy up until maybe like a week or two ago. We started ordering all of these like broths with ginseng, with turmeric, with ginger root. And I started feeling so much more energetic. So we're gonna make it at home because they're so pricey to order. So we're gonna make a whole chicken soup, which is just the broth that you can actually just drink. So that means no salt. So if you're thinking chicken noodle soup, throw that out the window. It's gonna be bland as fuck. And then we're gonna do a bone marrow one with some beef. I'm gonna also air fry for the first time a whole chicken. A whole chicken. Plop that fucker in. I used to love having rotisserie chickens in the fridge and then I would just like shred it and then throw them onto like salads and it's just like easy protein. But then I heard maybe rotisserie chickens aren't amazing for some reason and then now that I don't go to the grocery store as much, I feel like I might as well just buy a bunch of chickens, freeze them, defrost them, and then throw them into the air fryer. So uh, if you follow any of these recipes, I'm not guaranteeing that they're gonna taste any good. Let's get started on the bone broth. This is the first time I'm making this recipe. This is a beef bone broth. So I ordered this, which is 2.3 three seven pounds I needed four pounds that's okay that's okay yeah this is a crazy thing you have to get the bone in and it's quite pricey it's seven dollars a pound and the bone is in the bone. that's what they they trying to get the nutrition out of the yeah bone. so you have to get the bone in this I gotta put into the oven Wow. The reason you're supposed to put these into the oven is because normally when you make like a fud broth, which I've made before, you use oxtail bones and you soak them in water, like cold water for like an hour, right? Mm -hmm. And it's supposed to take out all the blood, but you don't want that. You don't want to take out the blood. You mm. want to kind of cook it in there. So you oven roast it for about 20 minutes and then you throw it into a broth. Mm. You don't soak it in water. So here's the massive update. I have now minced, not minced, what do you call this? Just in two inch pieces. I've quartered the onions. I have two large onions. I've got two stalks of celery and two inch pizzas. I said pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> We've also got these carrots in two inches. I've got four carrots and they said to use it unpeeled. I kept the celery leaves in. These are my bone marrow, like beef bone areas. We've also got leeks, an entire medium leek into two inch pieces. And now we're just gonna stick them in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 minutes, saute them another 20 minutes, and then we're gonna make the stock. So for the air fried chicken, you're gonna need a couple things. You're gonna need some Italian seasoning. I think it's just one teaspoon and then half Half a teaspoon garlic powder and onion powder. And then I'm gonna do one fourth teaspoon of cayenne. And you're gonna need one fourth teaspoon of black pepper. And then one and a half teaspoons of salt that we're gonna place into here. This is the chicken. This is my air fryer. Okay, it barely fits in the air fryer. So it fits. So I'm gonna go ahead with seasoning the chicken. So you get your seasonings that I just showed you and you just, you don't even put oil it says. You just kind of rub it. Okay, okay. I don't think I like this. I am uncomfortable. <laughs> so you're gonna cut a tiny hole here under the skin. You're supposed to place a bunch of these seasonings under the skin, that's not working. Okay, I just, okay, all right, all right. I feel very, very uncomfortable with the energy right now. So it says breast side down, you place the whole chicken into the air fryer. And then you bake it in the air fryer at 360 degrees for 30 minutes. And then we're gonna flip it. There you go. 
Okay, so I have two whole chickens right now that are ready for a chicken bone broth. So I've cut up two stalks of celery, four medium onions sliced in half. I have about eight to nine pounds of chicken. And then we've got about, I want to say like 30 garlic cloves. We've got about six to eight bay leaves. We've got a bunch of ginger that's thinly sliced. So it's been 20 minutes. I've pulled these out of the oven and we're just gonna kind of toss them around. We've got lots of stuff going on in here. You know what, I'm thinking 20 minutes is enough. I don't think we need to do another 20 minutes. I mean, they smell really flavorful already, so I think we're just gonna stop it at 20. This is gonna take so long because you have to let it simmer. <laughs> My mom's freaking out because I have to let this simmer for eight hours. I didn't fork them, I don't know why they think about that, but we're pushing on. <laughs> Let's throw everything into here and let's put it in the water. <laughs> so I don't know why my dad thought that I could make beef bone broth and chicken broth at the same time. So I'm saving this for the chicken. I've split up the beef because this has to brew for what like eight this, to 24 Anna? hours. Those are bay leaves. I added three that? bay leaves. These are black peppercorns. And then I'm just gonna add like maybe half to this one. And then we're gonna add a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar to each and then just cover it in water. Let it simmer for the next eight hours. Does it smell good? Mm, smells so good. Okay. So these are now finally ready. After they've been oven roasted, we added in enough water to fill it up completely. We're gonna bring it to a gentle boil. I think they said like every 30 minutes to an hour, just gently skim the fat off the top. And if it starts, like the water levels are too down, you don't want that either. Just add a little bit more water. So, so let's do that and then let's work on the chicken stock. Are you excited to see? I don't know. What's going on? I am air frying a whole chicken and it's time to flip the fucking bird. What the? Oh my god, that chicken barely fit in there. We're gonna have to flip it, but how? Okay, so you put okay. a plate on top. Oh, you flip this whole thing genius. over. They don't call me genius for no reason. Is it down? Because it's okay. There you go. Now you just flip it. Oh, that's a lot of juice. Okay. Put no. Just put this in first. Put this in first. Yeah, I'm trying to slide it in. No, just do it like that. Yeah. Now you can slide it into the DMs. Wow. It's a very tight fit. Now we do another 20 minutes. One chicken, two chickens. These chickens are big. Then oh, makes we're me... gonna come in with celery, oh garlic, God. onions. That's a lot of onions. Then we're gonna go in with some leeks, one whole leek. And then we've got the bay leaves and the ginger. So this is a ginger turmeric broth. So we added the bay leaves, we've added the ginger. Now we're gonna add the magic ingredient. You're gonna need two tablespoons of turmeric. So we're gonna do two big heaping spoons. Wait, that was teaspoons! Those are teaspoons! I have the answer, it's three. So that's one tablespoon. Now we're gonna switch over to the actual tablespoon measurement. And yeah. And then we're gonna do four teaspoons black peppercorns. One, two, three, four. Four teaspoons of coriander seed. Now we're gonna freestyle a little bit because he wants to add goji berries. That's a staple. That expires this month, so let's add them all. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> goji berry and chicken soup is a classic. It's good for you. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's enough. Yep, so. And then now, this is another mushrooms. recommendation. Yes. Is mushrooms. Dried mushrooms. You can do- Now we're gonna throw this bit over here and fill it so that you can't see the top. And then they said you can honestly boil it for as long as possible. Some people only do an hour. I feel like we oh, no. so much Oh no, chicken more. soup is all about how Time. long you boil it. People uh, usually boil all day. All day? Yeah. The longer, the tastier. So I'm gonna stick it in to the thickest part. I think it's 140. And what are you like looking 165. for? 165. Oh, my friend, you gotta cook it a lot more. Hey, Honey, you say 165? What about 159? Um, oh, yeah. chicken is 165 minimum. Come on, push, 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 push. Okay, 160, okay, push. It has been about an hour's time. I'm gonna try it. Amazing. It's so good. It's the turmeric and the ginger. Okay, let me try this. Oh, that is weird. <laughs> okay, air fryer man, go check on the air fried chicken. 24 hours later. It is now the next day. I thought that I could do it 
all in one day, but apparently bone broth takes... They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine. How many hours has this been? It has been close to 24 hours. They have been simmering. Everybody's so annoyed with the smell that has penetrated deep into our nostrils for the past day. I thought I could do it all in one, but apparently you can't because bone broth takes 24 hours. Preparing for the next day's dinner. I haven't been able to eat any of my fucking creations since last night. So let's start straining the broth, shall we? This is what it looks like after just so long, just so long of being on the heat. If you guys have a slow cooker, I highly recommend using a slow cooker. But this, this was some nonsense. So we've got the beef stock, the beef Holy bone shit. marrow stock all in one. And then in this one, we've got the two chicken stock. This one's turmeric -y. So we're going to take these stocks out and let them sit. You guys remember I was like taking sips of that turmeric yesterday? <laughs> My wooden spoon has not recovered. To give you some perspective, this is what it looks like. It's just all yellow now. All yellow. And then it stops. It's yellow. Then it stops. It's yellow. Then it's wood. I don't understand. Also, mini mango update. I can show you guys her little patch now because all of her scabbing, her little hot spots, all of them are gone. And now it's just skin that's healing. But here's our little inkling. She's already kind of unhealthy. She's already very sick. I don't think that patch is ever really going to grow back fully. Last time that she had surgery and they shaved her arms to put in like an IV, it never really grew back. And it always looks like she has ankles on. I need 20 bands for a fucking anklet. You know, that type of vibe. So I'm just saying she got anklets. Sir, sir, sir. Okay, we we get it. You want love. I love you. Now you want love. Now you want love. Now you want love. You want love. <laughs> okay, this. if you didn't already put a ring on it, this meat would make you put a ring on it. So I'm okay. just saying. Alright, so like if it's not good, do I like get the ring back? Remove the ring on it? <laughs> no. No refunds or exchanges. So tender. <gasps> you like it? Zero flavor. It's a broth, honey. That's what it's supposed to be. Why do you keep eating it? Say it with me. Because it's good. Yes? Yes? It's, it's. He's picking for more. It's, it's in between mouthfuls. It's what? Is it good? Needs flavor. <laughs> no, punch you. <laughs> so I took out the meat. I took out all of the vegetables. I kept one bone because it looked so good. This meat is so freaking tender. Now he's taking out the oil. I've never seen this before. I was just trying to get it with one of those like like thin little, what do you call it? But he's just putting some napkin on top. So that's supposed to get the oil? I mean, the oils are on top, so it should... I mean, I took out all the oil. The chicken yeah, this broth. one was oily, and he was able to get out most of the oil just from using, like, two paper towels. Yeah. So this is kind of a cool technique. I like it. So this is all of the beef broth, and then we've got the chicken still in there with all the chicken broth. I'm about to make a quick quinoa salad. I'm going to start with a giant cucumbers that I've already sliced. We're gonna throw that into the bowl because it's mainly a salad, so it's gonna be less quinoa, more salad. And then, here's the crazy thing. Use bok choy stems, baby bok choy stems for crunch. I feel like lots of people use kale, lots of people use all of these things, but this is so good if you want like a crunch. Holy cow. Some bell peppers, in hindsight, seems like a lot of cucumbers. <laughs> We're gonna add a little bit more of that crunchiness and then we're gonna add in some herbs. We're gonna throw in some other shit. I'll be right back. Okay, so I actually really like soggy quinoa, so I'm making a little bit extra for tomorrow. And we've got, I think, one cup of uncooked quinoa. We've got a bunch of, I would say majority of this is just fucking English cucumbers. We've got two giant ones. We've got a bunch of bok choy. I've added a combination of basil, mint, and dill. And then I'm gonna add the, maybe like a fourth cup of some dried almonds. And then I'm just gonna season it with some salt, pepper, tiny bit of olive oil, a little bit of balsamic vinegar, and some fucking lemon juice. And let's see how it goes. We've plated it. So I'm actually gonna show you guys all of the things I made and maybe try to link all the recipes. So this one, I just kind of freehanded this. I added added a little bit of balsamic vinaigrette, I added some olive oil, some salt, pepper, and I added some feta cheese. And then this is the star of the show. I got some sea bass. So in this pot, we're adding one tablespoon of oil and we're gonna cook the sea bass in here. 
Look at this. This looks way too fancy. Oh <laughs> so underneath God. it, I have chickpeas, I have cherry tomatoes, olives, and it's cooked in the pan that the fish was seared in. So it's kind of mm. going to have that taste. It's thyme. There's wow. lemon juice. There's spinach. And then this is the beef broth, which honestly, we we're just going to sip on it. But I decided to add some, what do you call this, beans broth because I love the crunch. And that's essentially our dinner. Wow. I mean, obviously, I'm going to eat my first bites on camera because this looks really good. <laughs> So everyone is sitting down for dinner and I want to get everyone's reaction. Let us start with the quinoa salad. Thank okay? you so much. Thank you. you. Oh Try the quinoa salad. Quinoa salad? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. You like it? Mm -hmm. wow. I'm scared you wouldn't like it, honey. So much better when you put everything mm. together. Yeah, mm. like I added, I think all the mint, the dill, mm -hmm. and the basil really mm. works. Yeah. Nice. Mm. Yeah, the star of the mm. show. The beautiful chickpea succulent sea bass, lightly seared for five and a half minutes. That's a lie. It's six minutes, but five and a half sounds fancy. Okay, I'm gonna eat some. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that is mm. fresh. You like it? Oh my god. Jinja? No, mm. my god. Wow. Mom says I'm the best. Mm. <laughs> should we call Gordon wow. Ramsay and let him know? I feel like we should call them and let them know. Mm. What do you think of all the stuff below? I love it. Very mm. fresh. Mmm. Very now, delicate. The 20 hour wait. There's mm. beef at the bottom, there's beans broth on top. And let's take a sip. Mm. It's good. No? Mm, it's light. It's light. It's not fatty. Mm. The beef is so mm. tender. So if you get the beef at the bottom, watch you guys. Wow. How would you rate this dinner? That I slaved 48 hours for. Just a casual score off the top of your head. I got a 7 out of 10. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I gave it a solid, solid 9.5. Well, let me go eat this 9.5. Let me eat this shit up and I'll be right back. <laughs> There's a moral of the story. You can eat healthy all you want, but ice cream is always healthy. I will be asking you for the rest of the month, how was dinner? It's not about last night. It's not about today. It's about this day. I'm going to be asking you about this day for the next month. Are you okay with that? And I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh